A massive thank you to SMD Gaming yeah. and welcome to the Patreon crew. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Atlas. I've got a little guide for you, a little quick trick kind of thing for how to, you know, make a nice uh, shipyard, a synced up shipyard like this. You can see the shipyard looks like it's part of the docks. Um, this is just a common one. And I'll run over to the small one as well. She has got a bugged out <laughs> ship skeleton in. Um, oh, and yeah, look, you can see there it's all sunk in nicely. Everything's lined up really neatly. And uh, yeah, I just thought I would show you how to do this. I've been asked a few times how to do it, and um, yeah, I just thought I'd put it out there and hope it'll be useful. So, first things first, guys, if you didn't see my um, dock build, uh, the dock and workshop build video I've done. I'll put a link in the description below to it um, and in the comments and I'll add it in the comments or something as well and uh, it'll be at the end of the video so you can pick your poison whatever but check that out um, because it will show you how I laid this out. Now obviously you don't have to copy this build but the, uh, the principle of how I've done it um, is what sets this part up. And um, yeah, I couldn't do it in the video for uh, reasons which are <laughs> made clear in that video. But um, yeah, basically my mate didn't realise I was recording and while I was at work he slapped the shipyard down because he wanted to build a ship. And um, I didn't want to mess around and change it. So yeah, I thought I'd do it as a separate video. So here we are. So yeah, like I said, go watch that video. You will see how I got to this point. And what you need to do is find an area where you want to build a base uh, where these are placed there's a nice gentle sloped entrance into the deeper water um, and there is a shelf each side but this part here where the two shipyards are is you know perfect for shipyards um, so you get them placed down doesn't really matter how you put them down but like try and get them roughly where you want them to be finished um, so these two were sat almost exactly where they are now um, then what you do is you start building around the original shipyard, you use them as a template. You want to leave enough room between them so you can get a um, ceiling tile between them. So sort of a ceiling tile or a little bit more um, gap between them. And then once you've got the outline of them, you can then swap in for your permanent shipyards if that's what you want to do. Um, but I finished the build and then yeah, and then we're gonna resync them now. And we've been waiting to get a better shipyard. We haven't got a mythical shipyard yet, but we do have a legendary. It's not gonna get us a max level ship. Um, luckily for us, we share an island with Crimson Crew and or Crimson Hangout. Um, and yeah, we can use their shipyards if we wanted to. But hopefully, we'll find a mythical one soon. So we'll have to do this again. But to demonstrate the video, we're going to stick in a legendary large shipyard. So, like I said, get it all lined up, get it, get the template put in, um, and then when that's done, you can pick these shipyards up. Right, so that's done. Get it demolished. You'll be left with the outline of the um, original shipyard where you put the ceiling tiles around it. Also, to get them so they are flush with the top of the shipyards like this, they're roughly, it's not exact because it's going to depend on what terrain you're on, but they're roughly, um, if you put a foundation down at the bottom of the steps, um, if you could, is it this one? Basically, if you put a foundation at the steps or get it so the foundation or a ceiling tile is level with the just underneath the bottom step, basically, then put two walls up. Um, so just two normal walls on top of the foundation that should be level with uh, the top of the uh, shipyard. It will be close anyway. Back to placing the shipyard. You just want to get it so it's kind of straight. I'm just eyeing this up with the arrows and the uh, centre of the two ceiling tiles in front of me. So that looks like it's pretty straight. 
we go left a bit. Bit more. And then it should go back like that. That looks quite square. If you look along the left hand side of the dock, you can see the line of ceiling tiles. We're like almost perfect with that. The um, the stone stairs are lined up perfect as well. So that should be about right. Yeah, that looks good. Moment of truth. And all the stairs stayed there. They've all lined up perfectly back to how they was. No gaps down the sides. Back to how it was over here. And um, yeah, all flush with the top look. Like I said, to get the height, it's roughly... I can't get under there now. <laughs> but roughly from the bottom step of the shipyard, you want the top of the um, floor tile or ceiling tile to be just below the bottom step. And then when you put two walls high on the foundation um, or ceiling tile, whatever you've got there, um, it should be level with the top of the um, shipyard. Uh, and yeah, and that's how you get the height. You don't have to do it like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. If it's a little bit higher, like if the shipyard is a little bit higher than your like dockyard, you can, um, you know, you can put stone stairs or something going around the edge. You can do that. It'll be possible. Um, if it's lower than your dockyard, obviously you can get them going down towards the dockyard. You can really make it nice and tidy. Um, there's lots of ways of doing it. But normally if you get two walls high, it should end up like this. That's exactly what this was. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It's all nice and square. Um, almost perfectly level with the top of the um, docks. Like I said earlier, you need to get it so the foundation you put down at the bottom steps of the shipyard um, is like just below the bottom stair. Um, if you're doing it with pillars and tiles, if there's a bit of a deep, you know, a bit of deep water there, um, just try and get it so the ceiling tile is level with the bottom step of the shipyard. Then put two walls on. And the top of them two walls should be this height. They should be around about this height. It might not always be perfect. It's going to depend on what terrain you're on and stuff like that. But you can get it all nice and flush around the edges at least. And then you can always do workarounds to get it to have ramps around it, going up to it or going down into it if it's below your dock. And um, there's lots of things you can do. But the main thing is if you get it all nice and tidy like this, you can have walkway around it. You don't fall off the docks and things like that. It just makes things nice and easier. And it looks damn cool, if I do say so myself. So there you go, guys. I hope that's helpful for you. Like I said, I've been asked this a few times, and I thought I'd get around to doing a video for it. Check out the dockyard and workshop build if you want to see up to the point where we put the docks in. Like I said, it was the full speed build, but I missed the placement of the docks because um, uh, uh, my buddy thought I'd finished what I was doing. Uh, so yeah, here we are. So we've got this video now. So yeah, if it was helpful guys, give the video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for weekly videos, Fridays and Mondays for gameplay, videos like this in between, um, you know, like quick guides, um, Atlas news, patch notes, and I will be doing it for other games in the future. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of that cool stuff. You can become a Patreon and join the Bronzebeard Incorporated crew in Atlas and any other games where I will be having guilds, organizations, tribes, companies, whatever, if there is the capability to have some sort of uh, crew, um, Patreons can join the crew with us. We're gonna get some events going and hopefully have some fun in game with, with all you guys. So check that out. And uh, if you just wanna be part of the community and see what's going on, you can keep up to date with what we've got in the market. Uh, screenshots and things like that from Atlas and other games then check out the discord as well all the links in the description below and uh, yeah thanks for watching guys I really hope this was helpful looks I've been asked a few times so hopefully it is helpful for at least a couple of people and uh, I'll see you next time <laughs>